you can right click on the source file and generate a report for it. Otherwise, you can re generate a report using the report menu for the full project or some selected files. If I click and generate report for the full project, you have a choice of five different reports. Code review report is everything about your code. It also has the functions and the conditional statement represented with a function structure diagram. It has some metrics value. It has some violation counts and more. Case and metrics data report are strictly for metrics and their values. Rule compliance report are how compliant you are to your QAC or QAC++ configuration, as well as any compliance module. And suppression is for all of the suppressions you've added in your code, and they would be printed out in this report. All of our reports are in HTML format, except the metrics data report, which is in XML. You can choose to um, have your report output on the default location or choose your own um, output location. You can rename the report to what suits you and you can choose to have the report open in that location. Let's say I create a code review report. This is how it looks. It opens up in my browser. It shows me some information of my analysis, so the number of files I've run at my analysis against, the lines of code, a total pre-processed code lines, and diagnostic count. And of course, it has some tables for each file, the metrics it's found and its value, the violation, and the density of the violation. It also has some inclusion structure. And if I go down below, I should have some more statistics below.